Hello friends, uh, this is part two of a two series video compilation that I'm putting together on replacing the print head for the Roland BN20. Now in this process, I will have to take off all of the exterior panels on this printer along with removing the ink cartridges in order to gain access to the print head, which is right here. And in doing so, I will need a Phillips head screwdriver, and I would probably suggest using something with a magnetic tip because the screws may fall into your printer and you have to get access to them. Um, you will also need, if necessary, a magnetic pickup. It's telescoping that way. If it drops, some, a screw drops further down into the printer than you can reach with your screwdriver, then you should be able to pick it up with that. And to remove the actual print head, you will need a two and a half millimeter hex head driver. Um, along with that, I also have some small snack bags and this is to put the ink lines in once I remove them from the existing print head in the printer. Um, these are my replacement head dampers for my new head, which is right here. And be sure, if you're replacing the print head in your printer, that you get new dampers for it as well. The BN20 uses four. Along with everything else, I have my dummy cartridges because when I pump the ink back into the new dampers, it, this is required, as well as the jig to get those dummy cartridges in. Now, you may or may not have your jig. It's not extremely necessary that you have this, but it kind of aids with the insertion of the dummy cartridges. So without further ado, let's get busy. We'll see you in a few. Just as a quick note, two screws do not have to be removed. That will be this screw and this screw because it secures another bracket that's on the inside and it's not holding anything important. So be sure not to take those screws out. Otherwise you will hear it fall down inside the printer and then you have to put it back on later on, but it's not anything hard. So just as an FYI, we're down to taking the last two panels off. So this one will come off next to last and this top one will come off last. Even though I have all the screws out of it, it can't be released until this one is taken off. And you must remove all of your ink cartridges. Just to assist you when you are disassembling and having to reassemble your BN20, what I did was I placed each panel in line in the order in which I took it off the machine. That way, I put everything back the way it needs to be and in the correct order. And also, I put all the screws that was taken out of each panel in that panel. That way I know to put everybody back where they belong. I know it seems a little simple, but there have been times when I put things back together and I ended up with extra screws and had no idea where they went. So this helps me put everything back together the way it needs to be. And this is my third time taking this machine apart and I have had no extra screws left over. So let's go. We have the BN20 disassembled from all of the covers and everything that's on the machine. And if you think about it, it's really a pretty simple machine, but it does some very elaborate work and it does some great work. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try and get this baby fixed. So I'm gonna reinsert the print cartridges, that way they can, they won't dry out while I'm working on the machine. The next step in this process, I placed a paper towel right here. That way when I slide the print head assembly over, if any ink drips down, it will be absorbed by the paper towel. The next step is to take these two screws out, this screw and the two from this end. 
these two black screws to remove this cover. Just as I noted earlier about the flathead screwdriver, you would need a flathead screwdriver or, so, or some flat instrument to just pop this black fastener out to get the ribbon cable out. Also, what I did was I numbered my ribbon cables, as you see the number one on that one. That way, when I reinstall the new print head, I make sure that all of my ribbon cables are in the correct order. The next step in this process is to get the two hex head screws out by using your two and a half millimeter hex driver. The screws are located, one is here on the right and the other is located right here on the left. Once I get those out, the print head will lift out easily and then I'll remove the ink lines and place them in the plastic bags. The print head has been removed and I've taken out the ribbon cables also, but you see there, they're laying there numbered and they kind of lay down neatly weighed in the order that they need to be reinstalled. So what I'll do next is take out the new print head and install the dampers. And then once I get that pre prepared, I will disassemble this print head from the printer, being sure to take these clips off with the, with the ink supply and put them in the plastic bags that I have, remove this bracket and install it on the new print head, then reinsert the ink lines into the new print head. Now you can't do that in reverse order, otherwise you won't be able to get this bracket back on. So you must put the bracket on first and then reinstall the ink lines to the print head. Stay tuned. Just so that you're clear, there are two sides to the print head. Be sure that this side with the light colored circuit board and not the dark green side is the part that's facing forward when you reinstall your print head. These are the dampers that go inside. They're brand new and there are guides down in the print head that will assist you in guiding it down properly onto the nozzles below. One more thing, also with the dampers, be sure that this side is facing to the right and not the side with these two, I guess, diaphragms on it. Not sure what they are, but this is what it looks like in my old print head that came originally with the BN20. So be sure to put them in this way with the clear side facing to the right and the side with the, I guess, diaphragms facing to the left. So they are inserted this way into the print head. I removed the ink lines from the old print head. The new print head is laying here on its side waiting to be connected. And these are the ink lines that I have placed inside the plastic bags to keep from making a total mess over here. So let's keep moving. Here's the new print head with the new dampers in. And everything is in the correct order. So I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect the ink lines to this print head without trying, with, trying not to make a big mess. And if you can at all possible, do not get any ink in these connectors because it, they say it will ruin your print head if it gets any moisture in there. I'm inserting the final ribbon cable into the print head. And as you can see, I just have it angled in there, angled in there just a little bit so you can see. 
And once it's complete, it should be straight and flush with the pins. Okay, installation is complete. And as you can see, everybody is even. Excuse the shaking, I've had a cappuccino this morning and I'm nervous. So let's keep this moving forward, but this will work. The new print head has been installed. All the ink lines are empty, so I will have to do a series of powerful cleanings to refill the ink heads or just do a uh, ink pump to refill the heads. So everything has been put back in place. I need to reinstall that clamp that goes right here before I forget. And then I'll begin reassembling the BN20. Rather than reassemble the whole machine and may have to disassemble it, my ink cartridges are already in place. And I figure I just tape down these switches, which lets the machine know that the window is closed and all the covers are on. I'll go ahead and proceed forward with doing a pumping of the ink and see if I can refill the head dampers. And let's see how that goes. So now I'm in the process of doing a head pump or an ink pump to pump the ink through the lines to the new head. So I need to remove all of the ink cartridges prior to doing so. Okay, you can see the ink being pumped in to the head. I saw the magenta filling back here in the back. money going down the tubes literally all right the dampers are being filled now as you can see all of the lines are almost solid being filled with ink Now for the moment of truth, let's see what we got. All right, that's much better than what it was. Yes, that looks great because this is what I was getting prior. This is with the new print head. So we just have a few dropouts in comparison to Fright Night here. So we did good. So I just performed a normal cleaning 
with the print heads. And this is my second test print with the new print head installed. This is my first. So we are seeing some definite improvement. With four normal cleanings going through, the printing is getting better and better. This is the last test print I did, the fourth test print, and I'm having fewer and fewer dropouts each time. So I guess at this point, this concludes the changing of the print head on the Roland BN20. I'll see you next time. Good luck.